Hi, I'm Roger, a Gadget Guy, and today I'm going to show you how to liberate all of the music that you have trapped on your computer and play it on any speaker in your home. The kind of music I'm talking about you may have downloaded over the years or ripped from CDs. It even includes playlists that you used to play on your iPod when that was a thing. This video is about freeing you to listen to music in the place you want, like the sofa in front of the TV. Or it's about getting the sound you want by using your favorite speakers. Or you can get the look you want with the classic timeless design of vintage audio. Or you may prefer something a little more compact and contemporary. The point is, you're in control. You don't have to buy equipment from all one manufacturer for a whole house audio system. Shortly, I'm going to show you in step-by-step -step detail how to set up your computer for streaming music. But first, I want to take just three and a half minutes to show you how convenient and versatile the system is to use once you've got it set up. I'm now going to show you three completely different systems that can play back music from a computer that's sitting on my network. It's up in my office and they can stream music from that computer and play them back anywhere in the house. This is just a generic TV. It's not a smart TV, but it does have a Chromecast attached which lets it connect to the wireless network. This is a Sonos, which is the most popular brand of Wi-Fi speaker. And this is just a generic stereo, which is wireless enabled by a device called a Wii Mini. And the Wii Mini is a very well-priced device. It's very well featured and it works extremely well and reliably. Any member of your household can control any one of these systems from a single app on their phones. Now for Android phones, I recommend Hi-Fi Cast. And for Apple phones, I recommend 8 Player Pro. For the demonstration, I'm going to use a split screen and I'm going to talk you through using 8 Player Pro on an iPad. I'm going to start by demonstrating music played to the TV using the Chromecast. And I open up my 8 Player Pro app on my iOS device. So first you have to select the source of the music. And to do that, you go to servers. And here you see all of the servers that I have in my home. I have a lot. I'm a gadget guy. And the one we're going to demonstrate is the one called Servio, because that's the app that I'm going to show you how to enable on your computer later on. So I open that up and I can find all of the audio that's on that computer. And it's organized by albums, artists, genres, playlists. All of my iTunes playlists are in this playlist folder. I don't have that many on this computer. You may have hundreds. And we'll go with albums. And we'll select Adele and we'll decide where to play it. And in this case, we will go to the Basement TV, which is a Chromecast device. And you can see there are a lot of devices there. Again, I'm a gadget guy. So let's play Rolling in the Deep. You won't be able to hear it because I've muted it because of copyright. But you can see it is playing on this TV and if I had speakers hooked up or the TV speakers unmuted, we'd be able to listen to it. Okay, let's try it on another device. I'm gonna find a song where the copyright has expired. So if I go back to Artists and I'll go to N and Nora Bays. So this was recorded before 1926 and I am going to play it on the Sonus. And now let's demo it on a different audio system. The Wim Mini connected to the old stereo and here we go. So that's for all you fans of old 78 RPM records. As you've seen, your music is automatically organized for you and presented to you in a way that's easy to access. Now I'm going to show you how to set up your Windows computer to be the source for your networked whole home music system. 
The first thing I want to do is make sure that the computer won't time out on me when I'm listening to music in another part of the house. To do this, I go to settings and system, then go to power and sleep. And I change the timeout only for when it's plugged in. So when the computer's plugged in, I like to just change it to never. I can always turn the computer off manually, but that just makes sure that the computer won't go to sleep while it's playing music. You need to make sure that your network properties are set to allow for streaming. To do this, you go to network and internet. And then next to your network name, you click on properties. And then when you get into properties, you see that you have the option of public or private. You need to make sure that your computer knows this is a private network and it can allow streaming. And then the next thing you need to do is make sure the computer can be discovered on the network. To do this, you go to the item labeled change advanced sharing options in the network and internet section. And here you see the network discovery. Network discovery needs to be turned on. Then you're good to go. The computer is now ready for downloading the server app. The software that we need to install for our music streaming is known as Servio. To install it, we open up our browser and we type in servio.org and that'll take us to the Servio website. And what you'll see is that there are versions for Windows, Mac and for Linux. And on this computer, we'll download the version for Windows. I'm going to fast forward through the download so that you don't get bored. So we open up the installer, agree to the terms, and click next. Just install. Great, we're ready for the next step. You're going to want to export your music playlists in a format that the music streaming system can recognize. I'm going to demonstrate doing that on iTunes, but any media center works in exactly the same way. So you go to Edit, Preferences, Advanced, and at the top in that rectangle, you can see the path to where your media folder is. And underneath that path, after iTunes Media, there's a folder labeled Music. And that's where you're going to want to put your playlists. So you click on a playlist and then go File, Library, and then Export Playlist. You can see at the top that this file, when I save it, will go into the iTunes Media Music folder. I didn't have to navigate to it because it's the last one that I used. And you need to save it in the format M3U. It gives you a choice of three different formats. And M3U is the one that you always want to use. So once you save it, then you do the same for every other playlist. But now that I've shown you, I'm just going to exit. Now there's a couple of steps to set up the Servio app that we downloaded earlier. First, we have to open it up. We find it in our apps list. And this is a browser app that opens in your default browser. All the features that you're going to need for streaming music are in the free version. So you can just ignore the Servio Pro and uploading the license file. First, I click on Library and then Shared Folders. And Add. So this is how Servio gets to find your music folder. So you click Audio, then we click Browse. And we saw the path in iTunes earlier and we'll use the same path to the same folder. So you click on the C drive, you, you see users, you click on that. Uh, for me, it's Roger, and then music, and then you'll see iTunes, and then select iTunes Media, and save that as the file. That is where your media library is. Click OK, and then you have to scroll down to be able to save it. The last step is to modify the way the files are presented to you on your phone. There's a large number of categories and to have them all is going to be confusing when you're trying to use it. So you want to limit it to the ones that are the most useful. So to do that, you click on presentation. The ones that I deselect are folders. So I go to disable on folders. I normally disable composers. 
I disable titles. I absolutely want to disable random music and random albums. I don't know why anybody would want that. And I disable online because I don't even know what that is. If you want these other categories, you can always enable them later. So then you go save and Servio is ready. Your system is now fully set up, ready to play. All that remains is to sit back and enjoy the music. If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I put links to the apps that I showed you today in the description of the video. And I also put links to the products that I used. If you buy through those links, it's the same price to you, but there's a small commission from the seller that helps to support this channel. That's all I had for today. Thanks for watching.